Greetings! Some of you have probably already heard through Discord or Reddit that there is a new Easter egg in Battlefield 2042 that you can use to call in a cruise missile. Sounds awesome, right? I didn't even need the regular 10 liters of coffee to wake up when I heard that. And you can also unlock a new background for your player card. If you're hearing about it for the first time, here's a quick summary. And not only that, in the end, I have not one but multiple explosions for you from different angles and distances. So be sure to stay tuned to the end. For some of you, this will remind you of Battlefield 5's V1 rocket, which you could request as a squad call-in if you had enough points. In case you haven't experienced Battlefield 5 before, I'm talking about a huge rocket, something like a small tactical nuke, with a gigantic explosion. So far the whole thing is still an Easter egg, but I really hope that it will be integrated into all-out warfare at some point similar to Battlefield 5. Please DICE, DO IT! Personally, I would love it if they added this feature along with a squad call-in system to the game. Would you like such an approach? I'd really like to hear your opinion on this topic in the comments. But now to the important part. The map where you can find the Easter egg is the map that was added with Season 3, namely Spearhead. Probably the easiest way is to play a round of solo conquest with bots. Because here no enemy players disturb you or at least only very slightly and the whole map is open to you. This is very important at this point, as you have to reach several places on the map. On the other hand, if you're playing Breakthrough, you'll have to wait a while until you get to the last sector where one of the locations is. But the whole thing should also work on regular PvP servers, as long as nobody was faster than you at least. There are a total of three satellite dishes hidden on the map, which you have to activate one after the other. But don't worry, it doesn't matter in which order you activate them. Unless you later want to admire the explosion from a certain angle, then you should think about which of the satellite dishes you activate last. Once you reach the locations that I will show you next, you should be able to locate the devices nearby, due to the radio chatter. The first satellite dish is relatively centered on the map, close to the sea objective if you're playing Conquest. After finding them and pressing interact, you will hear a voice over the radio instructing you to search for more transmitters on the map. I know why you're here. You believe Project Silver Spear is a weapon. That's a lie. Wolf cannot be trusted. He's using you and will stop at nothing to kill us. I'll prove it to you. Activate the transmitters. Shortly thereafter, the device self-destructs, which is the signal for you to continue searching for the remaining devices. The second satellite dish is located in the first factory building and is a bit more difficult to reach. This one is behind the lowest of the three huge fans on the side of the building facing the Russian spawn. These cannot be seen directly from the outside because they are located behind the outer shell of the building. So you have to destroy the lowest fan to get into the maintenance room behind it. Here you can let your destructive creativity run free. For example, you can use your fighter jet and shoot out the fan, or you can literally use your fighter jet kamikaze style, preferably without the dying part. But you can also take the boring and safe way and climb in on the sides. All you have to do is pull yourself up using the ropes located at the corners of the building. After that you have to climb a ladder to get to the lower fan. Once there, you can simply shoot it with your primary weapon so that it stops spinning. But I would also find it interesting whether you can destroy the fan by repeatedly running into it. If any of you have tried it, let me know in the comments if it works or not. Anyway, the maintenance room behind the fan is now open to you. The second satellite dish is located under the stairs as you enter. You have to activate this one like the first one before. Oz planted a special signal beacon at this facility. When activated, a GPS tied to his personal codes will falsify his location tag. Wolf will think you found Oz and bomb what he believes is your location. You'll see that, to him, you're nothing more than collateral damage. After this device has also destroyed itself, you can continue to the last satellite dish. The third and final satellite dish is on the side of the second factory building, which is right by the U.S. spawn. Here you have to climb onto a container to reach the device, for which you can use the barrels in front of the container. If these are already destroyed, 
you can instead try to catapult yourself onto the container as McKay. Again, press interact. No hard feelings, Exodus. As it stands, no pets fall under acceptable losses if we toe tag Oz in the process. Know that your sacrifice has saved the free world. You can take that to your graves. Unlike the previous two times, however, a loud alarm tone will now sound across the map. This is your signal to look for a good place to observe. You have roughly 30 seconds to do this. After that time, well, enjoy it yourself. not least, here comes the explosion from different angles and distances, as promised. But before that, if you enjoyed the video so far please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you don't like it, please let me know what I can do better in the future. You guys are the best. And now, enjoy! Support dropping, ready to go.